What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more ranked competitive double battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a weakness policy in the Crowsman team that also features Gigantamax, Lapras, and Tyranitar. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing it really does go a long way so i thank each and every one of my subscribers but this team right here is looking amazing it's got a few good pokemon on here and very powerful especially under trick room starting off in that top left corner for the team preview we have the one and only lapras lapras is over here can gigantamax can set a war bell with its gmax move has shell armor as its ability light clay so the war bell will last longer and then we got hydro pump freeze dry parasong and protect for this thing's move set Right next to him is going to be the Restricted Mon for the team, and that is going to be Necrozma. Has Prism Armor as its ability, Weakness Policy as its item, and once that thing gets proc, it's going to be able to roll out strong. Its ability is really, really good, paired up with the Weakness Policy. This thing is stud. It's a stud. But Sun Seal Strike, Earthquake, Sword Stance set up, and Trick Room for our final move. This Pokemon can set Trick Room, kind of control the battle with speed because, you know, this team right here, not the fastest. Not the fastest, so under Trick Room, it can really thrive. Middle left, we got Ferrothorn, and I love Ferrothorn. I think it's a great Pokemon. Definitely a great back-end Pokemon in certain situations. Can stall out with the Leech Seeds. Has Iron Defense as well to bulk up. And then we got Body Press and Protect for its final two moves. This thing has Iron Barb's ability and Leftovers for its item to recover some more HP. Right next to him is Togekiss, and Togekiss is a beast in Sword and Shield. Just like BDSP, it's a beast in this thing too. Super Luck, but Beery Berry as his item and ability. And then we got Dazzle Gleam. Follow me. You'll want to put Pokemon to sleep and Protect for our final move. Bottom left corner is Incineroar. Incineroar, I love you, but you are still crazy strong in Sword and Shield, so we are not even going to go over its moveset or anything. You guys can see it, and you guys probably already know what it is. It is the same typical moveset that every Incineroar has. Final Pokemon for the squad is going to be Tyranitar. I absolutely love Tyranitar in Sword and Shield. Just a great Pokemon all around with all around amazing stats. Sandstream for its ability and weather control. Focus Sash so we don't get one tap. And then we got Rock Slide, Lash Out, Super Power for coverage, and Taunt to Taunt opposing support Pokemon. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, you guys already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this weakness policy in Necrozma and Gigantamax Lapras team. Before we get started in battle number one, I just want to let you guys know that your boy is streaming over on Twitch almost every single day during the week. Definitely go check me out. Name is right below my face cam and link is down in the description below. Jeans25 over on Twitch. We're doing viewer battles and viewer tournaments for BDSB. A lot of fun. Hopefully you guys do pop out, say what's up, all that good stuff. But we're hopping into battle number one for today's video. Going up against an Ice Fighter Calyrex Trick Room team. That also features Clefairy. Um... Uh, what is that thing? That's Slow King, but what kind of form? I totally forget. Galarian. Yeah, Galarian Slow King, and then it has Urshfu. Him on top for Intimidates and Fake Outs, and Mimikyu over here. Mimikyu is a great little mod, but I think going into Necrozma turn one can really, really benefit us. So I'm going to go Necrozma, and I might even lead Incineroar. But I can definitely see maybe Hitmon Top coming in here. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? We definitely want to bring Incineroar. I think Incineroar is great. We're going to bring Necrozma. Uh, Lapras could be solid. Could be decent, but maybe Ferrothorn into back and considering we have uh, Iron Defense, which really could work out well up against a lot of these physical attackers. So I'm going to go in with them. And then final Pokemon for the squad. Did I bring Tyranitar? Or I could bring Togekiss. Togekiss isn't too bad considering it can counter up on that Urshfu and that hit on top. I kind of like it. I kind of dig it. Let's lock in this Pokemon. We have three seconds to pick. I, luckily, I looked at the clock. Luckily, I looked at the clock. And we locked in our squad. So let's get after it. Let's look for a win here in battle number one. But guys, let me know for question of the day as well. What are you guys looking forward to the most with Pokemon's Legend Arceus? Because they've been releasing footage, new Hisuian forms, all that cool stuff. And I'm getting super, super excited for the game. Considering it's only like a month away. So answer question of the day down in the comment section down below. I would love to get back to you guys. But he's going to end up leading the Mimikyu alongside with Hitmon Top. And yo, Hitmon Top's a stud. Hitmon Top's a stud. Look at him doing his little boogie dance dude this guy has no worries in the world his wor his only worries in the world is to wake up use a fake out and use his intimidate and then get his boogie on like that is the life of a hit on top just gets his boogie on man he plays no games he plays no games he could pop a trick room i think we just pop a straight up sword stance here and we go into a lovely little uh i could parting shot i do think he fakes me out but it is what it is Actually, I'm going to Parting Shot on, onto the Mimikyu. Probably be a bit more beneficial to us. He's going to go for the Fake Out onto the Crows, but that's fine. And then we can just Parting Shot across here. Parting Shot's going to poke. Yay. Send that, and we dip it out of here. 
we dip an ad here, so that's fine for the fake out. We do not get to set up our sword stance, but I might end up Dynamaxing soon. So we get here, I am going to bring out my lovely little Ferrothorn, and I might set up either a Leech Seed or an Eyes Defense. I really don't know what I want to do. I really do not know what I want to do here. I could start seeding. I could start seeding, but I can definitely see a swap, so I might just Iron Defense here. He's going to go for a Trick Room. I'm totally cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. We might end up Dynamaxing. I might Sword Dance here. I think I might Sword Dance. Let's go for a Sword Dance here, and I'm going to go also for an Iron Defense. Yep, that's going to be my play. That's going to be my play. Iron Defense on these bulky, or not these bulky, these physical attackers, and bulk up. The so nice, lovely Iron Defense we're setting up with our Ferrothorn. I really do like where we're sitting here. I really do like where we're sitting here. Swords Dance is going to poke from Necrozma, and we have speed all day with these Trick Mods. We have speed all day, which I'm loving. So Necrozma is going to be my next Dynamax. We're posing threats on both ends, and this thing is going to end up cursing. He's going to end up cursing on who? Who's my real question? Please don't be Ferrothorn. On Necrozma, I mean, that's fine. Close combat's gonna fly, and my boy soaks that up all day. So we are just simply soaking up. I could swap out my Necrozma, which might be my play at this point. Could be it. It could be it. But that thing's stats are dropping. His stats are dropping. Leftover's gonna poke, and we're thriving here. We are thriving here. We're looking really good here. Curse is gonna tick away some damage. How much damage is it gonna do, though? That's the real question. That's a good amount. I think we have to swap. I think it's a must to swap Necrozma here. Maybe get back out Incineroar, and alongside with taking off, uh, taking off Mimikyu's, mm, we can't really take off Mimikyu's thing. We could start Leech Seeding. Now, you know, we're just going to Body Press over here. I would love to get off Mimikyu's thing. I would love to get off Mimikyu's, uh, Disguise, but we have to swap because Curse is a pain. I'm not dealing with it. I really want the Dynamax. If he went to any other move besides that, we could have Dynamax and just ran the battle. But Intimidate's going to come back out here. I could have set up another Iron Defense, which maybe could have been the play, but Body Press is going to be a nice little call by me. Body Press flying out here. And we get off some huge... Oh, some huge damage. My dude. Yo, my dude. Chill on him. Chill on him. Shadow Claw is going to fly through here. That's going to hit up on Incineroar, who just soaks it up. That's easy eats. I think Caldrex is going to come out here. And Dynamax, so I might just parting shot. And maybe bulk up on the Iron Defense. Or set up a Leech Seed. I think I'm going to Leech Seed here. I think I might Leech Seed. And this thing might curse me. It might curse me. I think Calyrex does come out for him. Yeah, and he's going to Dynamax him. So, at this point, I could just parting shot. Which I think is going to be my play. Try to get out of there. And more importantly, send over a Leech Seed onto that. Send over a Leech Seed onto that. Uh, what's it called? On you. That's gonna be my play. Or I could just leech seed over on the Mimikyu and slowly start to take that thing out. Because if he curses me, then we can just start slowly taking it out. But no, we gotta go after his uh, Calyrex. We gotta get after his Calyrex. We're plus two on defense, which is looking pretty good. And I wonder what he's gonna go for. Maybe a Max Quake into Incineroar? But he might not be able to kill me. We'll see how this one plays out here. But there's a Dynamax. That's exactly why I didn't fake out. We're making the good reads here. We're making the good reads, and first battle is looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good here. We still have Necrozma. We still have our Dynamax. I like where we're sitting. And I wonder if Necrozma is slower than Calyrex. That's like... I think that's going to decide this battle. I really do think it's going to decide this battle. But we have a nice little setup with our lovely little Ferrothorn here. And what's Mimikyu going to go for? We come out here first. Our Leech Seed does connect, which is just dandy. We have seeded him. And he's just going to go straight for a Quake. Which Incineroar, I think, goes down here, right? Or can you eat this? It's not Stab. Mm, he does not eat. That's a little tough. So he's going to get that Chilling Nade boost. And in that case, I could go into Necrozma. Dynamax him. Or I could just go into Togekiss. But no, Togekiss will pretty much get ripped up here. I don't like this. So Seed's going to come out here and this thing is cursing. So how much HP does that? Does that thing kill itself? Let's see. Yeah, okay. I'm cool with that. <laughs> I was going to say, yo, does that thing kill itself? <laughs> <laughs> so we made the wrong call with that one. Um, we could go into a Dynamax Necrozma, but I think we kind of just save our, Necro our Necrozma for Dynamax. We can, we can double protect here and kind of just slow down the battle. It really depends on who he throws out, but I think I just throw out my Togekiss here. Oh, that, I'm still cursed? What you mean? What you mean I'm still cursed? That's a little whack. I'm still cursed! That's whack. Uh, we could go into Togekiss and just protect. What's his speed? What's this thing's speed? What is your speed, buddy? 84. I think Calyrex is... We're going to have to wait for Trick him to end. 
I mean, I could just Dynamax. How many turns is left in Trick Room? Mickey popped it. He got off a of close combat. That was turn one. I think there might be only one more turn. And if that's the case, I can protect the max guard. I'm trying to think. I think I think I think I'm correct here. I think there's only one more turn left in Trick Room. If there's two, then this is the wrong call. But I hope I'm correct here. Slow King is gonna pop out here. If I'm correct here, this is a great call for us. Show me one turn. I have to check. Curious Medicine, all stat changes were removed. I think that benefits both of us. Trick Room, one more turn. So I'm cool with this all day. Um, at this point, we're just going to Dynamax. We are going to guard here and block every single shot. And we are just going to protect. So all stat changes were removed. That's cool. I'm with that all day. With that all day. We don't have our defense bulk, but he does not have his attack bulk and special defense bulk. So that's pretty cool. It's it's like a win-win, I guess. I guess it's a win-win. I think it benefits him a little bit more because that defense bulk is phenomenal for us. That defense bulk was huge for us. Plus two up against a lot of these Pokemon. It's just great. But we're going to end up Dynamaxing our Necrozman late in the game. Looking for a big old win here. And we just setting up guards. We're just setting up all this stuff. He could trick him. He could guard next turn. I really wonder what he's going to do here. Or I'm talking about next turn. This turn's, this turn's a wash here. He's going to swagger. Oh, he's going to swagger. And this thing's got to be Lumberry. What a cool play. What a cool play. But again, Trick Room ends, so we can kind of just like, you know, get after this. We can just kind of get after this this way. But I wonder what he's going to go for. He's going to go for a Quake, and we are just Max Garden. Lovely little Max Guard. We get HP from our Leftovers and Leech Seed, but then Curse is kind of neglecting a lot of it. Curse is neglecting a lot of it. So what's our play here? Our play here could be reading a, uh, reading a Max Guard. He could definitely Max Guard into me. But I really want to go for a uh, steel shot here. Because he could also trick him with him. I could go for the steel move. Which I'm probably going to do and get that defense boost. There's no way he... He's not weak as possible because he has Lumberry. And I could body press or I could set up another lead seed. Or I could iron defense. I could iron defense. Or I could... I'm thinking of setting up another lead seed here. He pops trick him. He pops trick him. Let's see what he does. He does not guard. Okay, cool. The seal spike comes out here. We're going to grab a little defense boost here, which is great. Get some huge damage off. And this is his last turn in the trick. Or, uh... Or, yeah, trick room's done. I don't know what I'm saying. But we're looking pretty good here. He might pop a trick room. Let's see what he does. He's going to go for a quake. Can you eat that up? You are plus one on defense. He's plus two. I think you should be able to eat that up. All day, Necrozma. All day. So if he doesn't go for a trick room, we could be sitting in a solid spot here. We could be sitting in a solid spot. But again, I think he does go for a trick room. Our weakness policy procs. He does not go for a trick room. We got a dub on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. But I do think he goes for it. Leech Seed's going to poke. We're going to neglect all this curse damage. All the curse damage. He's going to go for a psychic. And yo, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. You should be able to soak that up all day. All day, yo. That's GG's. That is pretty much GG's. Ferrothorn beasted here. Was a total beast here. Total beast. Loving it. I just protect him. We're just going to start soaking up leech seeds. Um, I could go after the... I think we have to go after the uh, Calyrex here. His Dynamax turns are over, which is awesome. But I think we just have to pose that threat. If he protects, we might still be able to kill through it because A, we have a weakness policy, and B, we are super effective. So it's really good. And yo, that leech seed and leftover HP is ridiculously good. We're, we're out cursing. We are out. We're getting more HP than we're losing on our curse, which is amazing. But yeah, we're just going to go for a... Uh, I could go for a Quake. I could go for a Quake just for a special defense boost, but... I think we're fine here. I think we're fine just going in with that and then just protecting my boy just to get some of the cheat health and some leftover health. Battle was canceled. There it is. First battle in the bag. Absolutely dominated and showcased his team really good. Let's hop into our second. Look to go back to back. That first battle went exactly how we wanted to. We're hopping into our second battle here, looking to go back to back, going up against a very strong Kyrie King. This one's looking tough for us. He has the Regilecki, the Tyranitar, alongside with Garchomp to combo with the Tyranitar. Then he has Comfy and Liberio Sinri. So team's looking very, very powerful. I'm kind of, kind of like wondering how I should go into this one. We definitely have to get a Trick Room off. Trick Room can really benefit us. I might go into, I might go into Togekiss here. I think Togekiss could be good, but I'm kind of scared of that. Of that Kyogre. I'm kind of scared of that Kyogre. Or you know what? I'm going to go into these two. Fake out a turn. Kind of go from there. And uh, get work done. So 
I'm with going in them too. I think I am going to bring Lapras here. Because Lapras does a, a lot of work up against a lot of these Pokemon, especially under Trick Room. So I'm hoping we can get that off. And then for Weather Control, we have to bring Tyrantor. We have to bring Tyrantor. So we're going to lock it in. We're going to get after this one and look to go back to back for today's video. But I totally forgot to mention, guys. Let me know or if you guys have any rental codes for this game, leave me in the comment section down below or send them to me over on my Instagram DMs. I will try to get back to everybody as soon as possible. It would be better if you guys do have Instagram to DM them to me. Because I like to use viewer teams for this game. You guys already know that. But if you guys do not have Instagram, leave them in the comment section down below. And same thing goes for BDSP. You guys have Pokey Pace for teams? Send them to me. Either Instagram DM me, leave them in the comment section down below with my BDSP videos. I would love to recreate your guys' teams for BDSP because there's no rental code. So Pokey Pace and then recreate is the best thing I can do for you. But he's going to end up leading these two, which is totally fine. I could definitely just fake out the Kyogre. Or do I fake out the Regilecki? I think faking out the Kyogre is definitely the play. And just setting up the Trick Room. 100%, right? Fake out Kyogre. He might double protect. We'll see what he does. We'll see what he does. But Kyogre is the bigger threat here. Regilecki really can't take out any of my guys. So I'm with this all day. I'm kind of hoping he goes for an E-Web maybe. Just to slow us down because we know that the Trick Room is popping out here. But this is a solid turn. This is a solid turn here. We fake out the Kyogre. We give him a little bit of clap skis there. And he's going to end up going into a Thunder. And into my Necrozma. I'm cool with that. We have Prism Armor. We're going to be able to soak that up all day. Even though that did a huge chunk of damage. I'm fine with that. And he paralyzes. Please go for Trick Room. He flinches. Trick Room is able to pop. I was going to be so upset if it was going to be like, Hey, yo, you're paralyzed. You can't move this turn. I would have been so upset. But in this case, you know, I think we just EQ. We could EQ and go into Lapras. But, hmm. Go into a stun shield strike. It's not that good. Not that good. We go into an EQ. EQ is not bad here. And just parting shot. I mean, I really want to get Lapras out here. I really want to get Lapras out here. So I think maybe we just could double swap. Could double swap. What's our play here? Oh my god. I really want to go into an EQ. I really want to go into EQ. This is going to pop out first. I think we do soak this up. I'm going to EQ. I am going to EQ here. Hopefully my boy can just soak this up. My Cinnamore should be able to soak this up. EQ po pokes here. Can we take out Regilecki? We bring that thing down to Sash. I'm cool with that. And then Incineroar is going to be able to go. Incineroar is going to be able to go. Which is cool. So Partner Shot is going to be able to come out here. Which is awesome. Drop that thing special attack. And what do we think he's going to go for? I think he's just dropping another Thunder into my Necrozma here, right? I think he's dropping another Thunder into Necrozma. So getting out Lapras at this time could be good. All right? Do we get out Lapras? It's got to be a play. There's no way he goes for a Thunder into Incineroar. I think he's going for the Water Shot with the Kyogre. And then going for the Thunder into Necrozma. Gotta be the play. It's gotta be. He goes for a water spout. See this? Easy eats for my Lapras all day. Easy eats for Necrozma too. And I think he just goes straight for that Thunder, right? So that is called cool. Thunder comes out into Lab or into Necrozma, right? Necrozma? Yeah, okay, cool. I'm fine with Necrozma going down here. We get Lapras out at a great time. So now we can actually change up weather if we want. I could do, but I kinda I think I'd rather not. What do I do? What's my play? What's my play? Do we set the resonance or do we just go into here? I think we just go into here and we save our Dynamax. Let's save our Dynamax for now. Let's save our Dynamax. He might end up swapping the Kyogre and I think we just fake out Regilecki and go from there. Fake out Regilecki, freeze dry into Kyogre. Right? Probably or play. I mean, he does have Thunder, which is scary on both these guys, probably. But again, he is minus a special attack. I think just to fake out there and just to freeze dry across this way works wonders. So Trick Room's really benefiting us here. It's really benefiting us. And then maybe next turn I'll Dynamax. He's going to end up with Straw and the Regilecki. I'm totally cool with that. And he's going to go into who? Who are you going into, buddy? Comfy. Little Comfy here. Little Comfy here. And I'm hoping we can KO this thing. Can we KO this thing? This thing is bulky. Please KO it. Please KO it. Oh my lord. This thing eats up all day and a Water Spout's going to poke. Both my Pokemon should be able to eat that up. Both my Pokemon eat that up all day. Okay, so in this case, I'm just going to Dynamax. And I'm going to set my Aurora Bell. It's probably my best bet at this time. Does only have two more turns left in Trick Room? It is two. That's that's good. That's a good number. I could just Parting Shot again. Darkest Lariat. Mm. He might Protect. He might, uh... He might try -ish. I think we just Parting Shot. But then that means we have to switch up Weather. Which could be good. What do I do? What do I do here? It's a jeans call here. He does have the red lucky, but I think having just that fake out option in the back is really good for us. So we're going to parting shot and you know what? I can see either a guard or something coming out here. He seems a uh, choice into that water spout. So I'm with that all day. 
I'm with that all day. Let's send our Dynamax. We have to make a move right now if we if we want to win this match. If we want to win this match, we have to make a move right now. Let's set the War Bell. Start getting up that defensive bulk for our squad and going from here. Two turns left in this. I think we can be thriving. I think we can get this. I think we can get this. But I really am wondering what Kyogre's going to do here. Let's see what Kyogre's going to do here. He's going to go for the Floral Healing. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That is fine. And I can change up the weather here as well. So our parting shot is going to come out here first. Our lovely parting shot is going to come out here first. And he is going to go back up to full health, which is a little tough news. It's tough news. But we get the War Veil out, which is huge. War Veil is going to come out here. We get another parting shot onto this thing. And then Tyranitar can come out here and change up weather. So it's going to neglect a lot of damage. It's going to neglect a lot of damage. That thing eats up a berry. And I think we just start shooting geysers at this point. I don't know. Another Resonance will take out that Compi, no problem. This battle's too good. This battle's too good. This battle is too good. I think he might swap the Kyogre after this turn. We know he's going for a water spout. He's choice. That's why he's just constantly healing this thing up. But he could end up protecting next turn. We'll see. We shall see. We shall see what this thing does. Here goes my boy Titar. Titar should be able to soak this up all day. He's got the special defense boost from the Sandstorm as well. So come on, Titar. This should be this should be light work. Should not even go past half health. Yeah, yo, look at that. Light work all day, baby. Light work all day. Loving it. Okay. The Sandstorm's gonna buff it everybody, except for my Titar, which I'm down with. I'm down with. And then what's my play call here? Could rock slide. Could just go into a superpower, or I could just straight up lash out. I could lash out. I can just go for a slide. I think slide's gonna be a play because we do go first. And we're just gonna take out the comfy. We do go first because of the trick room. So that's my play. What's he gonna go for? Laurel healing. That's fine. That's fine. We're, we're looking for the flinch here. We are looking for this lovely little flinch. This lovely little flinch. He floral heals all the way back up to full HP. Reds is, is gonna poke. And we're gonna hope to uh, at least just KO this. Uh, we're not KO. At least hit this Kyogre because just hitting the Kyogre in general is going to neglect a lot of the water spout damage and now we have a chance to flinch so it ends up connecting which is wonderful can we get the flinch flinch would be dandy give me a flinch give me a flinch oh yes sir yes sir trick room is now gone so I could just double protect I could double protect I think he's going to go into uh Regilecki and that's why I'm saying I can double protect just to get that buffet damage and take out the Regilecki but he still has a Dynamax he still has a Dynamax which is a huge problem a huge problem for us water spout's not going to do that much so i'm liking it and he is going to throw out titar of his own who is going to be his dynamax pokemon who i do think he guards i do think he guards that right because i don't want to double down into that superpower is four times super effective so we can, if we can land that that could be big and then do we just change up weather i don't feel like giving him the weather I don't like I want to double down into him I really want to double down into him but I do predict him garden I do predict him garden hard so I do not want to change up weather we're just gonna go for a resonance over here and do damage here I think he's gonna guard and if not he's gonna have to take a four times super effective superpower so it's his call it is his call let's see let's see what he does let's see what he does this is a good second battle this is a great second battle first battle went perfectly we set up the uh, trick room. We got our boy thriving. Actually, no. Did he set the trick room? Yeah, I think he set the trick room and we had a slow team. We got our Ferrothorn set up, all that good stuff, and we thrive from there. But I do think this person guards, right? No, he does not guard. He does not guard. So we're able to easily soak up. Let's see what he does from here. Let's see what his play is. Superpower is going to poke here. That's four times super effective, and that's some big old damage. That's some big old damage. And I would love to hard swap into my uh, Incineroar this turn. But let's see what he goes into. You're gonna go into my Tyranitar. Whoever he goes into, he's probably killing. He's probably killing, which is tough news. And we know we outspeed him, which is huge. We know we outspeed him, and we know that this uh, what's called ain't doing no damage. Goes for a Rockfall. That's gonna go take out my Lapras. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Lapras gonna go down here. That's totally fine. So at this point, we outspeed. What do we do here? This stuff going. At this point, we outspeed. We outspeed the Tyranitar. Our Tyranitar is faster than his Tyranitar, which is great. Uh, hmm. Do we just fake out the Kyogre? Go into a move? What is our play? What is the Jeans play here? Fake out the Kyogre and go into a move? Yeah. 
We really can't have Incineroar taking that much more damage. His weakness policy proc, and again, we outspeed him. So I have to go after him this way, and I have to fake him out here. Yo, this is a good battle. This is a good battle. All he has left is Regilecki in the back end on one HP. On one HP, and I think Sandstorm is going to be gone by then. Which means we can't protect, and we're going to have to soak up an electric shot. Fake out's going to poke here, do a little bit more damage. And I think that this thing's going to hit us with a water spout, or, or this buffet is going to hit us, and our, uh, our berry should trigger. Our berry should trigger. But yo, this is going to be close. This is going to be close. I have to hope that this berry triggers. I have to hope that this berry triggers. The sandstorm should end, which is rough news for us. Please do not end. I think it does end, right? There we go. Buffett's triggered a berry. That's wonderful. We get some more HP back. And now he just has Regilecki. And I think sandstorm ends in his next turn. So this could be tough for us. Because the buffets won't come out, right? But I just like he's here. He's here. He came to play. He came to play. I'm really not worried about that Kyogre too much. I'm really more so worried about Regilecki. So I'm going to go into a Lash Out. And do we think he can KO any of my Pokemon? I think I just double down on Regilecki. He poses the bigger threat. That Water Spout minus two Kyogre ain't no problem for us. He ain't no problem. He's choice. He's going to go for Thunder. And he misses, yo. That's GG's. That's GG's. Water Spout's going to poke here. That's easy eats for the boys. All day. Look at that, yo. Absolutely no damage. Get this thing out my face. Get this thing out my face. And second battle goes perfectly. Yo, we are ripping up on some heavy meta teams, yo. Heavy meta teams stand no chance against jeans. 2-0 and o for today's video. Let's hop into our third and final and look for that perfect record for the jeans community. I'm glad we were able to go back to back and grab ourselves another win in that second battle. Kyogre is just such a huge threat, so we played really, really well around it, being able to parting shot, drop its special attack, and just play off of its choice scarf. We knew it was choice scarf like mid-match, and we were just like, yo, let's keep it in there and not even worry about it once we had it at the place that we wanted to. But we're hopping into this third battle, looking to get that perfect record. I'm really liking this team. It's definitely a slower paced team. But it's a lot of fun once you kind of like get used to it and kind of get used to the style. But this guy is a Dialga team alongside with, uh, what is that, Pergoly? No, that's not Pergoly, that's Lipard. And then he has a Hatterene for Trick Room, Zapdos, who potentially going to be Dynamax and holding that life orb, Intimidate Landers, and Celestial. So pretty strong team here. Hopefully we get to grab ourselves a win, but who should I go into? Um, I kind of like Tyranitar here. Actually, Necrozma. Necrozma's looking really good here. Maybe I can set up a Swords Dance, get something rolling along those lines. If he wants to pop Trick Room, he can pop Trick Room. I think we just go in with these two. And then... Hmm, Tyranitar's a must. And we might go in with Togekiss. Nope, you know what? Lapras is just looking way better. Lapras is just looking way better here. Lapras is just too good. Lapras is too good. I really want to bring in Togekiss, but I just don't see us needing Togekiss. I just don't see us needing Togekiss. I think we're fine with our setup. I think if he's not going into Trick Room Mons, we're going to set up Trick Room pretty easily here. And then go from there. But if he is going in with Trick Room Mons, then we just Dynamax and Necrozma. And we get after it that way. So let's see what he does. Let's see his play. He's going to go into Dialga and Lipard. And uh, I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. I think we just Dynamax. Or I could fake out the Lipard. Actually, Lipard does have fake out itself. And it might be faster. So I might just die. I think I'm going to Dynamax the uh, Necrozma. And maybe fake out the Dialga. Let me just drop a Max Quake. Max Quake's definitely a play. Max Quake's definitely a play. Or I could set up a Trick Room. I could indeed set up a Trick Room. Did we set up the Trick Room here? Because we are super slow. But Dialga is really slow too. Dialga is really slow. I know Lipard has Trick Room. I know for a fact Lipard has Trick Room. But you know what? In this case, I'm just going to go here. And I'm just going to Parting Shot. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm not even going to go for the Fake Out. Because say I go for the Fake Out into the Lipard. Lipard can just outspeed me and fake me out. So I just don't see that being a point for me faking out. I just think Dynamax in here. If he fakes out my Necrozma, it's just going to do nothing because we're Dynamax. And then if he fakes out in Cinemore, it's totally fine. But special defense boost is going to be big. It's going to be big here, especially up against this Dialga. So that's why I'm going into this Dynamax early on here. Just trying to get off some big damage and get after the this match this way. He's going to end up faking me out. See, so me going into fake out would have done nothing. It would have done nothing. And Necrozma does outspeed the Dialga. So that's good that we're not even going into a trigger move. We go into this, and we're hitting this thing hard. We're hitting this thing hard. So I could go into a partner shot, or I could just go into a flare blitz and finish that thing off. Really, whatever I want to do. But let's just see what the Diablo does. Let's just see what Diablo's going to go into. He's just going to go straight into... Okay, a trick room. He's going to pop a trick room, and I could partner shot into the live part. 
And I'm kind of scared of like the paralyzes and stuff that they can do. But what other Pokemon does he have? Do I start going defensive bulk here? I mean, if he's popping Trick Room. Popping Trick Room, then I think special defense is the thing. But I think we do need a little bit of defense bulk in here. So I'm going to go here. And I'm just going to Flare Blitz. <laughs> or should I uh, Darkest Slayer? I think Darkest Slayer is play. Just so we don't take recoil damage. We should do enough to take out Dialga. But I know he's not going to Dynamax. I think he's just going to Thunder Wave onto my Necrozma. Something along those lines. And kind of just uh, deal with him. But he's going to Witch all Dialga. Maybe think I'm going into a Fire Shot. I mean, fire Shot would have worked there. And he's going to go into Landers, which is going to intimidate me. Little booger. Little booger. And I'm hoping he can actually uh, drop my, what's it called? Hoping he can actually uh, do my policy. Oh, but he's going to fake tears me. Drop my special defense. But Landers is physical attacking. I'm kind of with it. I'm kind of with it. We are only minus one in special defense because we already had that plus one. And Lightpart is going to go down to the Sash. Solid turn. Solid turn here. So we're starting this battle off strong. We're starting this battle off strong. Dark Slayer is going to poke. And I would love to get off a party shot. I would love to just swap out here. And actually, Landers is probably slower. Landers is probably slower than these guys in Trick Room. So that's free turns for me. That's free turns for me. We go into here. And do I want to? I don't even want a parting shot. I really don't even want a parting shot. Could double down on the landers. Could double down on the landers, but we just take out Lipard. I'm trying to play a smart play here. I could hard swap. Do I have T-Tar in here? I do have T-Tar, so I can change up weather and just kill with the buffets. I'm with that all day. I'm with that all day. We'll get the defense boost here, and we'll kill the Lipard with the buffets. That's a good play. That's a good play. I think that's a solid play. Solid play by Jeans. But I know you guys are probably wondering, like, what my ranks are. Some of these battles look easy. All that good stuff. We are in Ultra Ball tier. We're not Master Ball tier yet because, you know, new season came out. And I only played one other time in this new series. In the new season. And that was with the Flapple team. We went 2-1. So, that's where we're at. That's where we're sitting here, guys. We're sitting in Ultra Ball tier. I, I haven't really been playing this game that much. Been loving BDSP format. I've been playing that a lot. So we're sitting in Ultra Bowl tier. Still bringing you guys some fun content. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. We should be in Master Ball. Maybe if we win this? No. Maybe not. Maybe not. I think we have to win two more. But Steel Strike's going to pop here. And does that KO? It does not. But more importantly, we got a nice big defense boost. And you end up swapping the Lipard for Fake Out later in the match. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. None of my Pokemon will take this damage. And he's going to drop an EQ. That's a good EQ. The telepathy EQ, but we do have a defense bulk here. And that's gonna proc my policy. That is gonna proc the Gene's policy, and I think that's gonna be GG's. I think your boy's picking up a winning record in Sword and Shield. Haven't did that in a while. Haven't did that since BDSP came out. But yo, it's actually fun swapping between both the formats. I think it's a lot of fun. It makes them both feel brand new. Even though BDSP obviously feels brand new. It's a new game. That's why I've been having a blast with it. But going to BDSP for a little bit and then coming back to Sword and Shield makes this feel a little new. Makes this feel a little bit better. Because I, I love Sword and Shield. I absolutely love the Dynamax format. I think it's awesome all around. It was just getting a little stale because it was the same thing over and over again. Especially with all the meta Pokemon. There's so many meta Pokemon. There are just so many meta Pokemon. But we're just going to drop a Sun Seal Strike here. And then go into... I guess just a Lash Out. T-Tar might go down here. We'll see how this one plays out. But yeah, it makes it feel new. Definitely makes it feel new. Sun Seal Strike's going to poke here. I'm going to say bye-bye to uh, Lando here. And he still has a Dynamax, which kind of scares me. He has Lipard and then another Pokemon that we do not know in the back end. Which could be the bird. I'm thinking it might be the bird. The Zapdos. I'm going to go for an Earth Power into you. And you should be able to eat that up all day. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Then Lash Out comes out here. The Lipard can fake out, but we have the Buffet. So I could double protect. I'm thinking of doing that. I'm thinking of just double protecting. Actually, we do not have protect on the charisma. And we do not have protect on T-Tar. What am I doing? What am I thinking? I was just thinking. I was just like, yo, the old protect could work so well. It could, but we do not have it. So now he gets off a of fake out. Lipar will go down to the buff section. And Celestia is going to die. Celestia is going to die, Max. Which is looking a little scary. Just looking a little scary. Uh, How many turns left in Trick Room? That's the real question. One. Uh... Who's he gonna fake out? I'm gonna sword stance. I'm gonna sword stance. And do I lash out here? Do I rock slide? We're gonna lash out. We're gonna lash out. Let's do it. He's gonna fake out who? Dang it, man. I didn't want him faking him out. And what's he going for? A meteor beam. He's going for a straight meteor beam. Can one of you guys eat this up? 
when you guys eat this up, hit my T-Tar and let my T-Tar eat it up. Because then last shot will be double. That could be power move. That could be power move all day. Who's he going for? Meteor Beam coming out here. Go after T-Tar. T-Tar, eat this. Let's go. Let's go. Double lash out damage here. Double lash out damage. How much we doing? How much are we doing? Get some big damage off on this thing. That was so disappointing. <laughs> that was so disappointing. I'm not even going to lie. That was so disappointing. All right. So he gets his, uh, he gets his, what's it called? Who's he going to go after? It's a real question. Good sword stance. I wonder what the speeds are. I think he's slower than, yeah, there's no point in going. After We're just going to try to get off our damage here. I mean, Sun Shield Strike's probably your best bet. Let's go into here. Let this thing die out. And I could taunt it, but, you know, I, that was so disappointing. I thought this was going to do a lot more damage than I thought it than it, than I thought it would. But let's just go into a Rock Slide now. Oh, I'm so upset. And he's going to Dynamax and try to, like, get out of this one. Or he might just cancel Battle. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. It's got to be a Dynamax. It's a Dynamax for a Cancel Battle. But he stayed in for the Meteor Beam just to get that special attack boost, and now he's going to want a Dynamax and try to roll out this battle. Yep, there's the Dynamax, and it's a 4v1. We got this, baby. We do not want to get reverse sweeped. Reverse sweeped is never fun. And it happens sometimes, and you know when it's going to happen. Like, you see him, like, Dynamax Pokemon, or have one Pokemon left, and you're like, yo, this is not looking good. He outspeeds me. He has double hitting moves. He can roll strong on me. Like, you know when it's going to happen. Rockside comes out here first, and we're chipping away a little bit of damage. And we do outspeed. That's wonderful. I was going to go into a uh, Swords Dance. Just trying to bulk up. But he's just going to go for a Steel Spike into T-Tar and go for that bulk. He's going for that bulk. And, yo, it's pretty much over. We got this all day. We got this all day. We got this battle all day. Yeah. Yeah. GG's, yo. GG's. Your boy is picking up a perfect record. You guys love to see it. That deserves a like. That serves like I absolutely love this team today. I think this team was ton of, ton of fun to use. But did we just go into Lapras? I mean, Lapras is probably a call, right? Well, the Cinnamon is better one on one when they're not Dynamax. So, I like this call. And it's a special attacker. And it's a lovely little special attacker. I don't want to go into a Hydro Pump, but it's better to just go into this uh, Freeze Dry. Has a better chance of hitting. And we'll roll out from there. We'll roll out, roll out from there. But like I said, this team was tons of fun to use. It was tons of fun to use. We miss a rock slide, though. We don't like that one bit. He's going to go for an airstream. And that's easy soaks. Oh, I thought it was going after Lapis. Never mind. Not easy soaks. My boy goes down. He's going to pick up some speed. Freeze dry. I need you here. Freeze dry. I need you here. I just need freeze dry to land. Because two freeze dries, one flare, but it's like, we're going to be able to take this thing out. We're going to be able to take this thing out. But back to what I was trying to say. It's just been a lot of fun recording with this team. This team is just, it's, this team's just awesome. It's just awesome all around. I could protect, but I don't think protects the call. I just think we keep uh, getting after this thing with attacks. Team's definitely different from most, considering it's like a Trick Room team that you don't have to play Trick Room on. Like, it's it's weird. It's weird. Like, Trick Room's good for this team, but some instances you don't want to go for Trick Room. It's not like that mainstream Trick Room team where it's just like, hey, yo, go for Trick Room every single time. Like, this is not a team where you want to go for Trick Room every single time. It is not. It is not. But now it's 2v1, and he's going to go for... Hold up. Wait a minute. Who are you going after? Incineroar, eat that. Yo, connect this Hydro Pump. I mean, we should be fine because, again, Dynamax turns are over. And he cannot go for a Meteor Beam. So, yo, dude. Land his Hydro Pump. It's looking scary, yo. The Beast Boost is going out. Land his Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump connects. Is that GG's? Let's go, Lapras. Let's go. Shaking in my boots a little bit. You almost did the reverse sweep, but I knew we had that one in the bag, yo. GG's. Perfect record for you guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. It feels good to be playing Pokemon Sword and Shield again, but it feels even better that we grabbed ourselves a perfect record. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. And for the people who are waiting on Sword and Shield video, this one was for you guys. We picked up a nice little perfect record for you guys. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it. There is going to be more Pokemon Sword and Shield content on the way. But in the meantime, we're going to be also doing some Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shine and Pearl Double Battles. That game's a lot of fun. You guys should definitely go check out the content over there. Like I said, it's awesome. The new format's really, really cool. And we use Pokemon that are not even in this game. So we get to see a bunch of new Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.